Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So is Warner Brothers being sold again? Recent rumors have begun to swirl that are indicating that Warner Brothers Discovery might be sold again and merged into another company. Before we get into all this, huge shout out to Wisconsin King for letting me know about this on one of my videos. But yeah, it seems like Warner Brothers might get sold for a third time. If you guys recall, just a little bit of backtracking here. Back in around 2016, or 17, AT&T bought Warner Brothers and renamed it Warner Media. Obviously, earlier this year, Warner Media merged with Discovery, forming Warner Brothers Discovery. And now it seems like Comcast is eyeing Warner Brothers Discovery and looking to merge them with NBC Universal. Yeah, you heard me right. Comcast, another service provider like AT&T, is apparently looking to buy Warner Brothers Discovery because of the recent financial struggles that have been happening happening over at the company. If you guys don't know already, there are $55 million in debt and the stock has plummeted after all the moves that the CEO has been making, removing and canceling all of the series from HBO Max and all the other Warner Brothers Discovery networks and properties. So according to multiple reports, Comcast is eyeing Warner Brothers Discovery in hopes to acquire them down the line. So as it is right now, this is not something that's going to be happening anytime remotely soon the way the Warner Brothers Discovery deal was structured according to you know the legal side of things the company cannot be sold until at the earliest April of 2024 but according to multiple sources they're saying that the CEO of Comcast is eyeing that day they he is waiting for that day to come so he can swoop in and potentially acquire Warner Brothers Discovery to merge it with NBC Universal which that would be rather insane to say the least to see you know within the span of not even a decade this company which is one of the biggest media companies in the world Warner Brothers it's pretty much Warner Brothers and Disney I would say those are the two big ones and it would be pretty amazing to see like I said within the span of not even a decade this company gets sold for a third time not once not twice but three times? I mean, the gravity of that is huge. The effects that has on all the brands that are under the Warner Brothers umbrella is huge. We see it right now with Warner Brothers Discovery that all these shows are being canceled, like Victor and Valentino is now over. We had the cancellation, obviously, of, well, removal, I should say, of Infinity Train. Mau Mau, here's a pure heart. We can presume Elliot from Earth has probably been canceled as well, although that is not confirmed. We've seen a lot of things get canceled, like the Gumbo movies no longer happening at HBO Max and Batman K Crusader as well those are being shopped around to other companies now and if they can't find a buyer they will be cancelled so are we really going to go through this a third time it already happened with AT&T although I will say the AT&T buyout of Warner Brothers wasn't as bad from the outside looking in as the Warner Brothers Discovery merger but are we really going to have to sit through this a third time with more direction changes with more shifts in the plans with with more shows being canceled, more executives changing. Like, do we really want to see this again? I'm just kind of curious, what is the end game here for Warner Brothers? I really don't know. Like, I'm going to make a video, I'm planning on it right now, that I want to talk about why the Warner Brothers Discovery merger even happened in the first place, because as it seems right now, as it stands today, it doesn't seem like it was the greatest idea from both sides. Well, AT&T obviously got their money, so they don't care, but from the side of Warner Brothers Discovery, or rather, discovery at the time i don't see where the positivity is coming out of this deal everything seems to be rather negative right now and now comcast wants to swoop in to steal the whole thing steal the ship so to speak and right the ship i really don't know how to feel about it right now because yes warner brothers discovery is an absolute mess it's a dumpster fire over there right now but do we really want to see all of this start over again like yeah comcast might do a good job at warner brothers but we're gonna have to go through yet another merger it's like, when does it end for Warner Brothers? I really don't know. In all honesty, I kind of would like to see someone swoop in now to save them, like Disney maybe, but I don't know if a Disney acquisition would even be feasible because I feel like on the legal side of things, I don't know if they would, you know, let that happen, if they would pass that deal because every merger that happens has to get approved by court. And I feel like at the point at which Disney, hypothetically speaking, if they acquired Warner Brothers Discovery, I feel like many people would argue that Disney then has a monopoly 
heavily on the media space so that deal may not even go through so again i don't know how comcast would treat them i don't know how them merging with nbc universal would go over but i feel like we don't need to go through this a third time it was bad enough the first time even worse the second time so is third time really going to be the charm here again it's far away it's not till 2024 but that's at the point at which hopefully everything's starting to go well for warner brothers discovery so basically everything is going to start to be going well for them to tear it all down again and sell it According to reports around the industry, many people are saying the current CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery is basically gearing up for the sale in 2024, while internally they're denying that. We'll have to wait and see, but there are a lot of reports indicating that Comcast is going to make a push to acquire Warner Brothers Discovery once April of 2024 rolls around, which again, that's pretty far away, but there's a lot of smoke here, and you know the phrase, when there's smoke, there's fire, so we'll have to wait and see, but that fire won't be starting for another year and a half pretty much so yeah the one other thing i will add actually before i sign off is for cartoon network right how would this affect them i would assume that if there was any inclination on warner brothers discoveries part to shut down cartoon network that then probably would not happen if they're looking to then sell the company in a year and a half because if they shut down cartoon network that's going to devalue warner brothers discovery like i understand they'll still own the rights to the properties and all that jazz and they'll probably still have the channel itself just name something different but the brand cartoon network is a massive brand in the animation industry and i feel like if you're comcast again that that is if comcast even cares about this which i assume they would you know it's part of warner brothers discovery but you wouldn't want to take that out of the deal if that makes sense you wouldn't want to shut down cartoon network to then say hey you're getting this 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 and this but there is no cartoon network anymore so you're not getting that them shutting down cartoon network would in my mind devalue any deal so i would say more likely than not now if there was any inclination to shut down cartoon network that's more likely than not not going to happen because if they're looking to sell it again they'd be worth more money with cartoon network than without cartoon network I don't think it's going to get shut down. As for the whole sale, like I said before, we're going to have to wait and see what happens here. But there's a year and a half of rumors and rumblings that will come before April 2024 is here and we get some official news if anything happens at all. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all this. Are you guys shocked like I am that there's going to be potentially a third Warner Brothers sale within the next few years? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.